Hey guys, it's me Phil. How are we doing? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, I wasn't originally going to do this video, but I found a letter this morning and I thought part of this kind of video uh, diary kind of thing, I'm going to do this. Um, I, what, about eight weeks ago, I was talking with some friends uh, and they said, have you put in for PIP, which is personal independent payment. It's kind of a, what, an assistance uh, kind of money thing. Uh, I forget what it's really called, but I've, I've you know. Um, and I thought, well, I've never really considered it. I do not normally get things like that anyway. Uh, but I thought, well, what's the harm in trying? So I applied online and afterwards I got, when was this? 22nd of October, 2024. I got a letter back from them saying, uh, we now, now have all the information we need to make a decision. Um, and then I think about four weeks after, I had a phone call from one of the guys that worked there. And they just ran through all the questions, just double checked everything. Uh, I was on the phone for about an hour. It was quite weird, really, but it was at work. Um, you know, when I did work, I was at work and I kind of, you know, just answered all the questions honestly. Now, some people actually said that being honest with them is a bad thing, but I'm an honest person. I can't help it. I answered all the questions correctly. I didn't overemphasize anything. I didn't go into any uh, anything that I shouldn't have done. Um, and the guy says, yep, no problem. Right, he says, it'll probably be about four to five, six weeks uh, and we'll get back to you. We'll send you a letter saying yes or no. So, totally forgot about it. And then I found this this morning when I was going through some payment. I have looked at your claim and decided I cannot award your personal independence payment. Now that's fine, you know, this, these are the things that happen. If you know me, or if you've seen any of my videos before, uh, I have um, sleep apnea, which it is, as it says, it's a sleeping condition where your neck can close up and cause you to gasp, you can snore heavily, and it's a machine that blows air into your windpipe to keep it open at night. You don't reach REM sleep, which is the part where you really need it. Um, and it keeps you basically alive. You can die from it. I have that machine now, so that's fantastic. Sleeping a hell of a lot better. I actually, last time I spoke to him, I said that I sleep less, but I get better sleep which is the main thing. Well, that's fantastic. The other one I have is arterial fibrillation, which is, um, I have a kind of, at times I have a, a regular heartbeat. Um, and the worst thing is you can feel it. And a lot of the times I'm on, on my watch, you know, you have a heart monitor and it's it can show you the beat and it goes all over the place. I don't know if the, the watch is totally reliable, but hey, you know, one of them things we like to go off. But that's the two main things that I really suffer with. I'm 53 now, I've got the odd ache, joints, all this kind of stuff, back, neck suffering, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so I can't even get some kind of assistance payment. Uh, I guess I'm just too healthy. How well? Uh, one of my friends did actually say, you may as well go for it. People have got it for a lot less. I don't know what they've got, but if they can get a PIP payment, you know, personal independent payment for whatever they've got, good on them. It's always been the same thing. When I apply for something, I'm just not considered. Like I said, maybe I'm just too honest. Maybe I should have lied. Maybe I should have said something differently. But that's just me. I'm just too honest. Anyway, this is just a quick video. Just wanted to, uh, again, just do the bit of a video diary kind of thing. Um, and just put this out there. If you're thinking of doing a PIP, PIP ass assessment, go for it. The worst that can say is no. One of the things I did actually say to them on the phone was, I'm not expecting to get anything out of this. I've told all the truth and all that kind of stuff and they totally understand. But yeah, no pip for me. Oh well guys, thanks very much anyway for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.